Jamie Shepard. Hi. I am speaking on behalf of Las Cruces Education Advocacy and Awareness. So do you have me down for five minutes? I hope so. I don't have, I don't have the controls for it, so okay. somebody else does it. Okay. Uh, I want to speak first about the calendar. I read um, through over a couple thousand of the public <laughs> comments regarding the balanced calendar proposal, the only calendar proposal offered. Um, I don't understand how, especially after reading all of those comments from the community, the district and the board members can continue to say that the majority of our community supports the one proposal of a balanced calendar. The majority of those comments asked for not only the return of a traditional calendar, but for the end of the enrichment days and the remote learning days. We hear often from parents about the lack of equity among the classrooms and the schools in our district regarding, regarding the enrichment days. We hear about children sitting in the commons for multiple class periods during these enrichment days and many other days. Um, we hear about children uh, because of the lack of teachers and subs. For the remote learning, we hear about children not participating at all because of parents not being able to provide the necessary support at home, and there are multiple reasons for this. Our, parent, our children are tired of trying to learn through the computer screens. Secondly, you may wonder why the IPRA requests have increased so much, and it is because the district and the board have given the community reason to ask for information. There is a lack of transparency here, voting for a skewed budget at midnight, touting to the community how the students of Centennial High School wrote you last year about how they supported a balanced calendar when in fact through an IPRA request, we learned the majority of those students asked you to please not pass the balanced calendar. They wanted their summers to work and spend time with their families, not investigating valid complaints with evidence, not listening to constituents and not communicating with your constituents when they email you. If you are only here to vote for your own plans and opinions and not use and not those of your constituents, then we ask you to step down. Our students, teachers, support staff, and families deserve the full support of a school board willing to listen to them and vote for what they need and will be best for, for their lives and in the future. Thank you. Rick Renaud. <laughs> 